just purchase these original granite brackets for the L brackets that go under. They come with some screws. There's the bracket. It's solid steel. Watch out from those cheap knockoffs on eBay. Handmade in people's garages that are like this thick or less, and then they, they're bendable. So if it's bendable, guess what's gonna happen to your countertop if you're using granite or stone? It's gonna crack, and you're gonna lose out on a two, $3,000 slab of granite. It's not fixable once it cracks. Anyways, make sure you purchase something at least a half inch thick with quality. There's a lot of companies out there. One's called Snyder. This one's called the original granite bracket, obviously. So just be careful and wary that those are out there. How to install these. What are these holes for in the back? That's for screwing up against this two by six that I'm putting in there. As you can see, there's not one in here. And I'm putting it up against that. And then I'm gonna secure the hell out of it. How am I gonna do that? Make sure you use a leveling bar. You're gonna need clamps. So when I put the leveling bar, bar oh, sorry, leveling bar up against this right here, I'm gonna lift it up just a hair like that. See how it's up. And then I'm gonna mount it and, and then make sure that everything is level to the back. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I gouge this out. That's gonna be your main question. On this side, I'm gonna move this leveling bar. I don't have it in because I wanna show you guys how it's done. So what I did over here was gouged out this corner and this corner right here. And I had to cut this piece out. As you can see, it's not cut out. And I lined up the, uh, what is that, a two by six? And I lined it up and I marked it. So that's gonna get cut out right here. That's gonna get a cut right, right there. And as you can see, I got a little bump right here. So I'm gonna have to gouge this out. I'm not even done here. I need to gouge like, I don't know, quarter inch or something. So it could be snug. And this back piece right here could be up against that back piece and I can get all the support that's needed. See what I'm talking about, how, see how it goes in like that. And this is how it came. And then it, there's a space right there. So I'm gonna gouge it out so everything is snug and tight. I'm gonna use liquid nails and I'm gonna use some wood glue, probably any wood glue will do. And then I'm gonna clamp it and make sure that thing is solid. Inch that needs to be gouged out two and a half inches deep to account for the space that this piece of wood has. I guess you can remove this piece of wood and just install this. It would be a lot quicker but the guy who came and installed this already put the back wall on. So I have to work with it, unless I was to remove this. I just didn't want to go through that. I'm gonna rip this out on my table saw. A couple swipes I should take care of that. We're gonna saw it. here, set up for the height needed that it goes just a hair over, if you guys could see that, that I marked, needed to um, gouge this out. And also the depth that it's gonna take out. Sorry, I gotta go upside down here. You'll see what I'm talking about. the depth that was needed to go as deep as it could and now I'm gonna put a slice this way only at that 3 8 inch depth and I'm gonna gouge that entire corner <laughs> See, that's a nice tight fit that's perfect and I know there's support all along that entire um, six inch back wall now we're gonna mount it's it all on there we're gonna get ready to put this in your support that you just put in this flush you see how that glides right over it and it's perfect that's what you want next I've marked my um, 
two and a half inch bracket that's gonna go and I separated it every 16 inches. So now I'm gonna, I marked where it goes. You see that? It's gonna be support on the back wall and I'm gonna gouge that out and next we're gonna start installing this thing. Mark where I wanna cut it, half inch lined, all the way around, two inches wide. You're gonna need an oscillating tool to get in there and do that. So all that's left is screwing this in, making sure it's leveled. Obviously you take your leveling bar, leveling bar and put it from here to this end and make sure from every angle. I've got this to fit like a glove. I'm gonna be able to put in maybe two or three of those screws right there. Also back here, I'm gonna put in all four of those screws. Make sure you don't go through to the other side just in case they're longer. If you have to cut them down or use a different screw. Also don't forget to account for that spot weld right there that you're gonna to have to gouge out your, at an angle right there, that piece of wood right there. So happy with the way it came out and that's how you do it. Pretty much just make sure it's level. And if this end right here is like aiming downwards, all you would do is use some shims or a lot of liquid nails and make sure that you, when it's solid, that's when you, you leave it where it needs to be. It needs to be leveled. You've gotta put a level from here there or else this will not have a purpose. Part of this whole project is getting that to be leveled underneath the countertop, especially if you don't have one. So what I do is I put a lot of liquid nails back there, in here and over here, and then I put one screw. It's easier to have two people holding it where you got this, a straight edge, you need a straight edge all the way across because this is pretending it's your countertop or acting as your countertop. And you can see that it is flush. And when they add the countertop, they'll put some liquid nails in there or some silicone and set it on it. So you can see how perfect that is. And even just like, it just doesn't get better than that. So what I did was, mine was just a hair down. It was just a hair down. So what I did is under here, when I had the one screw just on the back, I was able to lift it up, get it to where I wanted it and slide in a shim right under there between a bunch of liquid nails and that way I know it's gonna be solid and then I screwed it in exactly where I want it. So now when I have it where I want it, all that liquid nails that is gushing out of here, it's gonna bond and it's gonna be solid. So you don't screw it in anymore, even if you have it sitting how you want it, I hope that makes sense, that you let the liquid nails dry and then you can come back and hand tighten these after the liquid nail is dry after probably a couple, two, three days because it's gonna take a couple, two, three days to dry up in there, but then it's gonna be rock solid and that's what you want. So that's about it. If this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully it explains on how to put in L brackets, under the counter, tips and tricks, and other things. It's good to get other perspectives from other builders too. So watch a few more videos on this. Hopefully you can find a couple because it is a little bit of a tricky job. One out of 10, I'd put it at a seven. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up.